Did you leak my book? Sonic game? I swear to God. Please don't hurt me. Did you leak my book? Game? So as this crazy week for Sonic the Hedgehog continues, we're just getting more and more information. When will it stop? We are starting to see the very leaks I talked about coming into reality. Everything I said is finally happening. They laughed and in disbelief, they called it fake, but oh how wrong they were. Oh, I bet you won't doubt again. So as the more passionate Sonic fans probably already know, a bunch of new leaks recently surfaced about Sonic's 30th anniversary again as in the past three days. It includes a lot of specific information about the game, teams working on it, as well as another Sonic game, and much more. Reputable sources are reporting on them and getting a lot of traction, and other leaks are coming out that just confirm one another. So let's just start with the biggest one, the first one. This leak was signal boosted by a streamer who has over 20,000 followers on Twitter, causing the tweet to just blow up. And I want to talk about this dude too, but I just want to get through the leak first. So the tweet says, Zippo, who's been a fairly reliable leaker, put out a blog post about Sonic's 30th anniversary. And then he just gives a brief recap of the leaks we're going to go into, and doesn't even say the best parts. And then links the blog post containing all this beautiful information. And to the average person, this may just seem like nothing more than that. A little recap tweet. But this tweet will play the most significant role in this entire leak. They also replied to the original tweet, saying to be cautious of it being fake, but that they were excited because this comes from a reputable source and the other ones didn't. And let me tell ya, this new Sonic game is going to be a real crowd pleaser for Sonic fans. The leak includes information that would confirm basically what everyone wants. I'm going to shorten it and give you just the information because this Zippo person decided to write their entire life story in this Sonic leak. And I know what you're here for and don't want to waste your valuable time. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing to come out of this leak is that Sega of America is in charge of Sonic now. This is something all of us Westerners want, but it's sort of unlikely. I could see them giving certain projects over, but all of Sonic? Big doubt. But once again, I mean, if it comes from a reputable source, who am I to say this is seems fake, you know? Sega has definitely done crazier stuff. But for Sega to move all of Sonic, except for the game development, which would make things way harder on the developers. And I guess it would make sense if Sonic is doing way better in the US than he is in Japan. But what wouldn't make sense is that Aaron Weber is now living in Tokyo, Japan. No one really talked about that, but since his role kept growing and growing, I doubt they would shaft him and send him away to do nothing. There's a high chance that he's working directly with them on some bigger picture projects. One thing that would really help confirm these is that Zippo says he's been extensively looking into all of this with Sega contacts, sources, and corroborating this information for the past two months. Which, if it took so long to do research and get all this information, where is it? Like anything. I could understand not wanting to post it out of privacy, but there's ways to get around that and blur names and do all the proper steps. The next big piece of information is that Modern Sonic is going to be the focus of the 30th anniversary. The reason he claims is that Classic Sonic is much better taken care of by fans, and then he rattles off four Sonic fan games. While I could see a lot of people calling this out is very untypical behavior for an official Sega employee, they very well could be a fan and just maybe play fan games too, I mean. Actually, I don't even know how they claim they got the information, they are never specific enough which is probably so they don't get found out and fired. Then he talks about how modern Sonic is much more marketable, and maybe I'm not factoring in how iconic Sonic's voice is, but that doesn't feel really true. There's much more classic Sonic merch, and while the nostalgia market for classic Sonic is getting thinner with time, it definitely still exists. I see classic Sonic is much more brandable, but I think they want to try to push things in a new direction, which I welcome. They don't want to overuse their nostalgia for classic Sonic, so this would be a decently smart move. However, the leak makes it sound like they're going to be using classic Sonic hardly ever now, which I hope is not true. Another announcement is that they're going to split the 2D and 3D Sonic. The 2.5D modern Sonic stages, in my opinion, aren't that good. 
so I'm really hoping this is the case. The physics always felt off, and to be modern Sonic in a 2.5 section of the stage feels weird. It's like, why am I playing modern Sonic then? And shoehorning classic Sonic into forces felt equally weird, regardless of how well Generations did. They really should have been focused on refining modern Sonic before adding more to the recipe. And it's nice to see them making an effort to push things in the right direction. Fourth announcement, and arguably my favorite, and most likely since there's two different sources for this one, but there's going to be some big Sonic collection and a lot of games that aren't playable on modern hardware anymore. Here's where it gets really interesting. The second source from this comes from a Sega of America LinkedIn page that also confirms that these ports are specifically tailored to PC. I'll get into the LinkedIn one after we get through this one. <laughs> there's so much news. So, so, so this is where most Sonic tubers would stop their research. But I decided to take a little bit longer on this video and dig deeper. Zippo is a reputable leaker who has leaked a large amount of Nintendo leaks. But that's just it. No Sonic leaks! If Zippo is either an insider or close with someone in Nintendo, then it's unlikely he would get all this info from a Sega-made Sonic game. Even if there was some Nintendo-Sega partnership, he still wouldn't have this immense knowledge of the entire project, especially an unannounced one. So while Zippo is a real leaker, I'm pretty sure this dude is not Zippo. This blog was created in January 2021, and this is the only post on it. People are doubting whether Zippo is reliable, but only a few are thinking the bigger question. Is this Zippo? Well, anyone could click on their username and look for yourself. And with no evidence to back it up, despite the claim that he took two months to gather all this info, what am I to think? Which makes me wonder, is everyone else thinking? If he were to do this and fabricate some fake leak, they should have at least had some other posts or leaks he made as Zippo. Very low effort. All of this just for a little drop of clout. So sad. So yeah, I'm gonna confirm these leaks. Confirm they're fake! Even the people who are skeptical are just like, maybe it's true. But come on, I have no problem calling this fake. Now the second leak about the job posting could be real. However, it can be easily proven by just providing a link or a full screenshot if it's deleted with some searchable names. And the saddest part for me is that I haven't seen a single person even doubting this one. I think before we're willing to believe a leak, there should be proof. Most LinkedIn listings would say PC port or something like that. Maybe even console specific at most, but no further than that. It would make no sense to put the specifics about a secret unannounced project for a specific franchise in the title of a job listing when no one else in the gaming industry does this. But if we're going to get the proof for this leak we need to keep pressing and demand proof and if nothing surfaces we just gotta wipe it off and move on but if not zippo who made this leak now i'm gonna keep it 100 with you there's like an 85 percent chance that game cage the one who reported the leak created it himself but i want to be fair i don't want anyone to be mean to him is i watched one of his streams afterwards and he was actually very funny announcer number seven is we're canceling all Sonic games and only Fidel can buy them, all right? So while this is definitely a clout grab for attention, I wanted to continue this video to still show the side everyone else is showing while adding my own extended research. Thanks for watching, subscribe, follow on Twitter, like and comment if you think the next Sonic game will be booster adventure styled. I'm gonna read and reply, I promise. Also, I never plugged the Sonic Show Discord, but I'm wanting to start it up again and get it going. So if you want, I'll put the link for that in the description. Peace.